model. Now what I'm going to be doing is using JMRI's Panel Pro is install a small section of mainline track with a couple of turnouts and a passing siding and running through how we actually get that onto our Panel Pro panel. So to start off with what we need to do is install our turnouts. So we start off by moving up to the top left hand side of the screen, clicking on turnout and we'll click on the right hand turnout first, placing the cursor onto the left hand side of the screen, holding down the shift key on the keyboard and then left clicking on the mouse and this installs the right hand turnout in our screen. Next what we need to do is install a left hand turnout on the opposite side so we come back up to the top of the left hand side the screen, click on left hand turnout, holding down the shift key again, doing a left click on the mouse. You'll notice that the left hand turnout is orientated the wrong way so what we do is we do a right click on the circle here in the turnout, scroll down to rotate and we enter with a rotation angle of 180 degrees, click OK and then that orientates the turnout around the right way. So we'll just move this out to the right a little bit move anything that we've placed on the screen it's just a matter of holding the cursor over the object and then doing a right hand click holding the right mouse key down and then we can move that around then what we're going to move on to is installing our first section of track in between our two turnouts so you'll see the anchor points on the turnouts here are red at the moment so then what we need to do is install our track segment so we move up to the left hand side click on track segment i want to be picking mainline so ensure that's ticked and then moving to the right hand turnout, moving through the straight section of the turnout, holding down the shift key, left clicking on the square and then dragging the cursor across to the other turnout and then letting the mouse key go. And you'll see that we install that first section of mainline track. You can see that it's worked by the anchor points now green on both sides. Now what we want to do is we want to install some mainline track either side of both sets of turnouts. And what we'll do is say that we can install um, two blocks on the approach to each of the turnouts. We're going to install two separate blocks either side. So to do this, what we need to do is install anchor points. So we click on anchor point at the top left here. Again, holding down the shift key. Left mouse click. There's one, two, three, and then four. And now what we can do is install our mainline track between each of these anchor points. So back up to track segment, ensuring main lines ticked. Shift key, left mouse click to the first anchor point. Shift key again, and then back to here. You'll notice that whenever the track's been installed correctly, we'll get these green anchor points now. Again, moving over to the other side, shift and left mouse key, click. And again, you can see now that we have our two sections of track or two blocks either side of the turnout. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to install our small passing siding. So what we can do here is we just add another couple of anchor points. Just get the passing siding a little bit further away from the mainline track. Click back on track segment. Now what we want to do is unclick mainline and this will install the passing siding. You'll see how the lines are a lot thinner than the mainline track and this will indicate that the tracks actually a passing siding. What we can now do is we can alter the angles of these by doing a right mouse click and then dragging these tracks out a little bit. And we can therefore drag the distance out and change the angle of the track uh, until we just get the geometry right. And there you have it. Now we have our section of mainline track on the top here with two blocks approaching the turnout block in between and a small uh, section of uh, passing siding on the south side of the main line. So in our next video we'll be going through how to install the sensors for each of these sections of track.